Hello, Cancer. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Y'all excuse my voice. I have had several concerts this week and I just woke up and this is what I sound like right now. So, <clears throat> Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with another Cancer. Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Pisces. Energy is here. It looks like you're moving on from something. You're feeling better already. A lot of you are planning, saving, putting money away. And whatever it is that you're trying to see change in your life, either you're doing it. A lot of you can't see that it's happening already, but it is. And it's big and it's required some very uncomfortable things, you know, it's required a lot of reflection. It's required you, it's required you to take accountability for your part in whatever it was, but it's like you're being safely guided away from something that was, I don't know why I want to say small. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say small. It's like in the distance. Tell me about that. I say it was unsuccessful, <laughs> whatever it was, apparently. Some of y'all could have been done with a Leo or a Virgo. It just could, yeah, it just could be something that was unsuccessful. But what's carrying you away from that is big. And I think, it, like I said, it required this change. It required this, you know, what's the hermit? The truth. <laughs> You would have, a truth you would have never be, been able to see. A truth you would have never been able to see had you not made this change or had this change not been made for you is what this also looks like. I'm sorry about that cancer. So, there's another truth that you know about. Is it an X? Could be a Scorpio. Something could possibly repeat with this person. Or has repeated. It's been like a pattern with this person. One moment. They're coming in and they're totally love bombing you. And then the next moment they're cold. So this is like, it's like they feed you. Somebody could have been the type of person that fed you just enough to keep you strung out on the next time that you would be able to experience that thing with them. I was just having a conversation about, uh, with someone about how, how I feel about you and what I'm experiencing with you. It's two different things. And a lot of times people um, who take people through these types of emotional roller coasters are unaware of the, you know, effect, the full effect that they're having on another person, especially when it comes to like them doing, especially if it's something bad. You know, if I, if I affected you negatively. So this could be something like deeper, okay, than, than we think. This could be, I mean, I'm not here to diagnose anybody, but you know what I mean? Take it how it resonates. This is somebody who would like to resolve this with you, but they also keep quiet about it because they know how unfair things have been to you. That's the thing. What a... Let's just say this is someone who may have narcissistic tendencies. Now, we don't know, you know, and I feel like you're... Mm, I don't know why I'm hearing emotionally astute. <laughs> I feel like you are mature enough to be able to know what not to trigger. I feel like you were very caref careful 
when it came to this energy because I, I feel like I'm having to be careful with my words right now. So it's giving empath narcissist dynamic. Is that what happened? <laughs> You're being, you're letting it happen this time, Cancer. It may have taken you a long time to kind of break away from this. You may have detached emotionally, mentally. You may have had to strategize your way out of this, like, step by step. So, um, Cancer, are you okay? <laughs> I think you are, though, because as big as your heart, is and as long as your love go is as big and functional as your brain is <laughs> and that's the thing that they they forget about the cancer i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't get this far by being a fool so you love them you did and, and that makes you think about you know going back and creating this life that you two may have talked about um, creating together. But something stops you. For some of you, it's finances. And for others of you, I mean, it's, finances could be a part of it. You feel trapped with this person. It could be a Leo. There's something that turns you around. It's like you think about the happy that you could have. So it's like, it, it, that's what makes it feel like this narcissist empath thing. Because at some point, there was a seed planet of, we're going to have this beautiful life together. This is somebody that loves me. And God, it just feels like the best thing ever. But then there's this, mm, but wait, type of feeling. It's something that stops you. Maybe their communication sucks or they move too quickly and that makes you uncomfortable. The things that they say. All, whatever it is, Cancer, it all makes you want to be independent of it. Because there's something that you may have been in denial about. To resolve it or to turn it down. But the thing is, what you're keeping out is something that, in your mind, it's the big bad wolf. So as much as you love them, it's as much as you want them to stay the hell away from you. <laughs> so should it just be over? Because why is this here? Why is this in your reading? The chariot in the reverse. You have not been able to find stability with this person. And you crave that as a cancer and you might be dealing with an earth sign this was supposed to work <laughs> like earth and water go together but there was i'm hearing a discrepancy an option distance an ending that took place trust issues selfishness and a lack of commitment something like i'm hearing dysfunctional And I feel like it's been keeping you from living in your true authenticity. I'm hearing survivor's remorse. It's been keeping you from a transformation that you know is necessary for you. Sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare is what I'm hearing too. Something's been throwing you off balance. It's like, is that the energy that you're supposed to be in? Can you function like that? How much have you gotten done in that energy? You know what I mean? It's not only about productivity but it's about peace of mind you can plan on not having a productive day but be in a very peaceful state of mind and end up being productive anyway just because i don't know but there's something that's been keeping that from you and so i feel like there's some inspiration maybe there's a friend maybe there's an event that you go to a youtube short that you want the tiktok video whatever it is there's something that's going to say all right 
Cancer is time. <laughs> and you're going to be inspired by it. And you need to begin now. When you get that spark, do it. Do it right then, Cancer. With this relationship that's been weighing you down, that's what you need to stop fighting for. Trying to decide whether or not you should continue to give to this. Could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn energy is strong here. How can you love me if you're giving to someone else? Then you disappear and then you come back. That's manipulation. That's you seeing something in me. It's almost like they, because they know that they can't. You've done something, Cancer. Somebody may realize there are a lot of people fighting over you right now, Cancer. And once they realize ooh, that your option started... Be careful because you've experienced this with this person before. The love bombing. They're the, the reeling you in. All of a sudden, you know what the fuck to say. You didn't know what to say last week. Why is it so confusing? Is love confusing? Is God the author of confusion? Don't fall for this shit again, Cancer. Because... The thing about it is that it's like you trying to make me feel like ain't nothing wrong here. And I ain't no fool and I ain't no I ain't no punk <laughs> either. Okay? I feel like something about this puts you in a defensive energy. Whatever's happened, Cancer, you go and let that happen and you don't let nobody sway you back into something that don't make sense. Cause something about this mm -mm, it's tricky. It's subtle. And you've seen it before. Okay? I love you, Cancer. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And some of you may need a personal reading. Some of you don't. Because I just told you. And I love you. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.